Hopefully good evening to you. It's been a long old trip coming down from the north. Just been on board about an hour. Been up the bar had a drink, chilled out. Just got to our cabin. There's our key card for the cabin. I'm gonna turn in, look a bit rough. <laughs> it's been a long old trip. Um so yeah we're gonna I'm in a cabin on my own, Danny's in the cabin on his own. Plugged everything in now to get charged up. Gonna get my head down. I'm not even gonna pull the bed out. You can pull this bed out, make a double bed. I'm just gonna keep on it as it is. Been a long old day. For us northern lads travelling down six hours it took us to get from Cheshire to Portsmouth traffic horrendous variable speed limits you know it works it's just it's, it's horrendous isn't it so I'm gonna leave it there for now I've had a couple of beers up in the bar I'm gonna chill out I'm gonna get my head down and I'll see you in the morning hopefully at the lake bye for now Well, a very good morning to you from Lake Ragon, or Ragon it's called, one of the Anglin Lions waters. We arrived yesterday around 2pm and as you know, travelling to France is a trek. So by the time we got organised, set up last night, found a few spots, got a bit of bait on them. Simply got our heads down, had a good feed, had a, had a beer, had a bit of a chill. Watched the Joshua fight, which wasn't the best outcome, but that's that's the way it is. So we got out, we had a good sleep. Woke up this morning to beautiful sunshine. We had some storms through the night, which was anybody that comes to France knows what these French storms are like. Thunder and lightning, nice to see, very airy. But yeah, we're here at Ragon. It's a 10 acre lake. We're pitched up on the spit, which is just to the left of the cabin, which I'll show you around all the facilities, the lake, how the lake's situated, and I'll show you through what we're using as we're going along through the week, obviously, hopefully, 
some fish. But there's been lads on the week leading up to us coming in also. Anybody that comes to France knows it usually takes a few days for the fish to get back on the feed after the previous week. But yeah, this is a beautiful Sunday morning. My able assistant there behind me is making some sausage and bacon or unable assistant. We'll see in a bit how it turns out. But we're just going to have some breakfast. Then we'll walk around the lake, get some shots, get some footage for you. We'll take you around the facilities, show you what's here. There's not a lot of information on Ragon, like I say, because it's a new venue. And with the current situation that's been going on with Covid and whatever else in the world, there's not been many anglers on here, so the information is limited. So we're going to try and capture as much as we can. Although we are an oldie and we are going to try and fish and relax. But we'll, we'll try and capture everything that we can, give you a bit of a, an insight to the venue and we'll go from there. Hopefully, if you are coming out here and you do fancy rag on, we can show you what it's like and hopefully what some of the fish are like. So for now, we're going to wrap this up, we're going to sit and have this breakfast and we're going to get fully sorted on this Sunday, September the 26th morning and get fishing properly. I'll catch you soon. So here we have the toilet and the shower area. Got all gas. Basic, but adequate. Just enough for what we need. There's a wash basin, washing area, washing up area, all up on that little cabin there. And we'll move to the main cabin here overlooking the lake and I'll show you the inside of this and the facilities and looking out to the lake. So here's the main cabin which looks out over the lake. Nice and big, plenty of room in here. And as we move up to the veranda, there's a nice table and chairs there for sit. Bit of a mess at the minute, as this, we know, all the gear is everywhere, but it's getting organised. We're there, we're looking out to the lake. And there's the main spit just to the left of the lake where we're pitched up. And down to the left hand side, it's a shallow area, there's a lot of weed down that end. Obviously, with it being a lot more shallower, it does hold a lot more weed. But we've seen fish down there too pan back round. This is a dam wall end. Then there's a lot of weed down this right hand margin to the right of the cabin. There's plenty of open water to fish to. Plenty of spots out there. There's a lot of weed beds coming out in the water and all so you have to be mindful of them. But this is just a view from the veranda from the cabin. I'll take you inside the cabin and show you what's inside. So a nice big door here. Double glazed doors, double glazed windows. There's a move inside. Got a cooker, again gas. Nice and spacious in here. Table and chairs. A nice sofa there with our gear sat on top of it. There's utensils, cups, plates, some bowls in them cupboards there. So we'll move you around. This is the sleeping area if you wish to sleep in here. Obviously, carpers, we don't, but your missus, if you bring your missus, you might want to. Put this light on. The light doesn't work. There's two single beds in here and if you wish to sleep in here and you can get bedding from the bailiff at the farm obviously there's a fee that applies to that there's a rack for your clothes to hang up and this door again leads you back out onto the main veranda Brings you to the right hand side of the lake. 
Again, there's a peg there, just to the right of the cabin, which you can fish. So it gives you access from the right and the left. The left is a spit, the right is just a peg there, but I mean you can pitch up anywhere you want really, nobody's making you fish there. But that's just the main view of facilities in the lake. As you can see there's plenty of water, there's plenty of room. There is basic facilities here, there is a little gas fridge. It's doing what it's supposed to do but it doesn't hold a lot of food or milk, eggs, whatever else you put in there so I would bring limited stuff or bring a fridge with you that you can hook up yourself. So there we go. It's the main lake. There's a good bit of bird life on here at the minute. Sandy out there, some swans, there's coots, there's more hens. But all in all, beautiful lake, 10 acre lake. We've got it, two of us on, lake exclusive, rear angling lines. Initially there was three of us, but um, due to circumstances, one had to pull out, so it's left myself and Danny fishing the lake to ourselves so like I say it's Sunday morning we try to work it out we got the rods in last night and we got our heads down unfortunately or fortunately we didn't catch through the night but we had a good sleep which is a real bonus when we've done nearly 24 hours of traveling so I'll leave you there now with that now I'm going to walk around the lake but there's the main facilities and the lake from the cabin So here is the boat launch to the left of the spit. The boat was in the water, obviously from the last anglers when we got here, we've pulled it out. But if we need it, it's there. It's got two oars. There's life jackets in the cabin, which I think you have to pay for. But for now, that's the back end of the spit where we're fishing. So I'm to the right side here now. With all this open water to me right. Danny is fishing off the tip of the spit and he's spread his rods out to the left in front of him and to the right so we're covering all bases really and we'll try to figure out what's what and where the fish are and which side is going to produce or both sides are going to produce so we just it's a case of working it out There's the main side of the lake again, back to the cabin. And I will just add that this cabin is solar powered, so we're not too sure on the power usages yet with it being our first day. As I say, there's a gas cooker, gas fridge, the washing facilities and shower at the back, which is gas again. It's a compost toilet, again, basic but very adequate. So that's most of the lake covered. And as I say, this is the left hand side, which is a lot more shallow, with a lot more weed beds, thick weed, and all some of it. But a beautiful venue, well manicured. It's still maturing to be honest, as I say it's a new lake, only opened this year. Obviously it was dug a couple of years ago and stocked and rested. But in time it'll be a beautiful venue when it's all matured. But it's, it is a beautiful lake. And with two of us on we've got more than enough water to work out. So we can...
So, as we said, it's all a case of working it out, trying to suss out what's what and where the fish are, creating spots. The other area we weren't moving, we weren't, we weren't getting them. So we decided this morning to make the move. Literally, we've got the gear down. We hadn't even unpacked it. We flipped the rods out onto two spots that we found. Literally, ten minutes. This brew. So literally ten minutes after flicking the rod in on the spot, this brute 48 pound 8 was attached and we both made up, me and Danny, because for the move we was getting nothing up there, absolutely nothing. So the move's definitely paid off. What a beautiful welcome sight to the new spot. It's also a new PB for Marcus. There you go matey, well done. Life's a bitch, but then you can catch some fish like this. Well done mate. Beautiful. Well done. Cheers Danny. Awesome, let's get this back. Yum on! Well, very good afternoon to you, folks. Please excuse the attire. It's absolutely boiling. It's in its twenties at the minute. Mid-afternoon. I think we're on about half past three. So it's Tuesday afternoon. As I probably mentioned on the previous um, entry, we've moved. Spent two days in the wrong spot. Although you never know that till you get here. We started on the spit, always looks like an obvious uh, choice to take where you're covering all the water, but we weren't on fish, we just definitely weren't on fish. I know Danny picked up that 28 pound common, which I'll put on the screen for you now. And a beautiful common it was actually. That came at four o'clock in the morning, uh, Monday morning. And we thought that, that was it then, they, they were gonna start on the feeding. As always from the previous week, the lads feeding it up. It takes a few days, but it became very apparent this morning that we just weren't on them. Simple as that, we weren't on them. So luckily enough last night we got to bed early, we had a good sleep. This morning we decided that's it. Not even a knock on the rods, we're moving. So we came down the dam wall this morning to have a quick look around, seen a few fish but we'd seen fish moving and boshing down here while we was up on the spit previously. So we came down this morning, had a look around, flicked the red leads about for a bit just to find some clear areas and to be honest it's so clear down this end compared to up by the spit. It's weedy, very weedy, there is clear patches but I don't think you're presenting right, I don't think the rigs are sitting right. So as we came down here and led it about, it just came apparent that it was so much clearer and it's a deeper area. Last night the temperatures dropped dramatically down to single figures. Although it's red hot in the day, it's cold overnight. So with the damn wall being the deeper end, it was it was the right choice. And literally within finding the spot, scattering a few particles around, hooking a rig on, flicking it over the area. Bang, 48 pound eight mirror. And what can you say? It's, it's an old saying, isn't it? Wrong place, wrong time, right place, right time. Spent two days in the wrong area, moved to another area, right place, 10 minutes, bang. And what a beautiful mirror. Didn't put up a big fight actually, I was quite shocked. To be honest, I, I don't think it, it knew it was hooked. Because I only underarmed the rod in, there was no splash, there was no commotion, then scattered a few particles around it, some tiger nuts, some, some crushed tiger nuts, um, and that was it. Literally, 10 minutes gone. 
So that's where we're up to. It's Tuesday afternoon. Um, we've got everything organised. What we did is we packed shelters when we came. So in case we had to move, we can move some gear. Still get a night under the stars, under the shelters. And fish. So we've moved most of the gear down with us. Tomorrow we're going to go get the rest of the bivvies and whatever else. So we've travelled light down to this damn wall with the basic essentials that we need to fish for the night. Tomorrow we're going to go get all the rest and set up camp here. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have to go for an antigen test. We've got booked at the chemist so we can get back to England. And anybody that's been coming over here know, know the score with that one. So that should be um, that should be something to look forward to, I think. So we're going to have a go to the chemist, get our test, we're going to have a mooch around the town, get some um, essentials that we need, food-wise, get back, get fishing. Then we've got like a serious three days non-stop fishing then. We won't be going back out, so we're going to just hit it hard and see where we get to. But up to now, we made up, we've moved, Danny's had that common, I've had that mirror, things are looking up, hopefully we can get more tonight. If we get more tonight, our confidence is going to go through the roof. So, I'll keep you updated. If all else comes along tonight, this afternoon, whatever, I'll blog it for you as always, and we'll keep you updated with anything that's happening. Okay, catch you soon. So as you can see, that was our base camp up there, nice and comfy, all the amenities next year, but fishing's not all about being comfy. As I previously said, we brought shelters with us and all, for that scenario of having to move and not moving the old camp. So we've travelled light down to this damn wall, just with the Probably systems, shelters, we've got left the bulk stuff up there. Never be afraid to move. Take the plunge, find the fish, the rewards are sweet. See the new spot already starting to fizz up to half six at night. I'm being very quiet because it's only an underarm chuck out from the bank. You can see there, the spot's already working. Fingers crossed, we'll get another one in the net any time soon. Well, a very happy Wednesday morning. That move has most certainly paid off. 
been coming to France a long time, since 2010 I think. Always picking waters at Old Commons. Never had a common ever up until this morning. What a beautiful fish this one is. Let's take a look. Well, take a look at that. 37 pound, 14 ounce of stunning French common carp. Absolutely buzzing with this one. Like I say, never had a French common, but this is the first. Absolutely made up. This one I dedicate to my brother, who was supposed to be here with us, but due to circumstances couldn't be. So this one's for him. And he hope he's as made up as I am. Absolutely beautiful fish. Can't wait for my brother to see this. But I'm not going to keep it out too long. I'm going to get the shots, get it back. We've got to go out in a bit to get these antigen tests, which is a shame because the spots are rocking. So I'll turn it round and give you a little shot on the other side. There we are, absolutely beautiful fish, made up, proper, proper made up. Yeah. So this is the antigen Covid test centre, we've just had ours, mine and Danny, for any of you lads, lasses, whoever's coming over here and you still need to be doing these tests, this is the centre, I'll pan you around so it gives you a rough idea of the location, Maison de Santé, then you've got houses, and that's the road you come up there to the left. And that just gives you some idea of a location in case you're stuck. But it's a pretty simple procedure really. Pay for your test here, 25 euros. Literally 30 second job. Just waiting for our results now and hopefully fingers crossed we're clear. So this is just a little bit of the weapons I've been using. Sorry, it's inside the bivvy because the winds are bad, so we don't get any wind noise. But I've been using the XXL Tigers, which caught the 48 pound mirror. And then I swapped over to the pink Mark II. 12 mil from Impulse Baits 
last night just to see if I could trigger a reaction and that's what caught the 37 pound common that was obviously wasn't on the Florida Carbon rig, the rig mortis that was on a KD style pop up with a bit stripped back just um, basic but the mirror was on the double tiger nut just um, bog standard again nothing fancy whips on bit of separation between the hook and the bait for them big mouths we've got here to suck it in and again that was on the size 4 curve shanks from bag and tackle and dips good hooks them, nice and strong and they was all on the spots with big beds of particle and I mean a load of particle so I just laced it all around the area a long line of it sat the rig on in the middle of it and that's what's done the business so that's a bit of the kit there now and that was just on like I say them two baits with the multi-mix particle and the micro mix all mixed up together with some tigers and that's that's the trap that's been getting them so same again tonight nothing's changing I've got the left hand rod out on double tiger again um, what I've got on the middle middles double tiger and the right hand one is a another pink mark 2 from impulse baits so we'll see how it goes hopefully bag another another two three four who knows but we'll keep our fingers crossed once again Catch you soon. Well, a very good afternoon to you. What a change in the weather we've got today. Um, struck well, they're not strong gales. 20 mile an hour gusts, up to 30 mile an hour gusts, but it's crashing down into this area where I'm fishing. So hopefully this will turn them on. Don't worry about them bleeds, that's just the wind catching my line. But um, yeah, it's Wednesday, we've been up this morning, had our antigen test, Covid test, whatever you call it, PCR test. Both of us uh, passed, we're both negative, so that gives us clearance to get back to the UK. So, as you've seen, I had another beautiful common last night, um, £37.14, absolutely beautiful fish. Well, that, that was early hours of this morning, just before just before dawn so I um, sacked it up for a half hour till I got the kit ready and the light broke through then I um, got it on camera for you so I've got the rods back in now since we've been out this morning the rods have just gone out three spots and hopefully like I say with this wind the change in the weather it'll pick them up usually when we're in France or anybody goes to France, it always takes two, three, four, five days to get the fish back on the feed from the previous week, as I've previously said. So we're hoping now, and I'm hoping that Danny can pick another lump, well, pick up a lump anyway, because he's only had that one he had two days ago. So it's just a case of having our fingers crossed and hoping that the fish turn on and this weather brings them on. So the rods are on the spots, they're not moving now. I'm going to wait till this wind calms down a bit, if it does calm down. I want to put a load of bait out on the spots, top it up. The one down the margin where they've had the two fish from, that's an underarm flick so I can bait that quite easily. The middle rod is 12 wraps out and the right hand rod is also 12 wraps out so easy spawn into them both clear areas so I can easily spawn to them drop the boat on them whatever I want to do quite easy simple fishing nice and um, comfortable fishing but in the wind as you know try to cast try to spawn in the wind 
just takes it everywhere so I'm going to wait till it calms down and I'll get some a big beds of bait on it so it's fingers crossed going to kick back just open the can and we're going to keep our fingers crossed and I'll keep you updated with anything that changes and anything that happens and obviously any fish we catch will be on this camera so and it'll be on this vlog so I'll catch you all later Well, very good Friday afternoon to you. So last night, what we've done is we had a bite from the dam wall for th since I had that common early yesterday morning. So what we've done is we've vacated the dam wall, we've moved back up to the cabin where the spit is situated and there's Danny over there setting his rods out. What I'm doing is I'm not fishing tonight. I'm going to let Danny have the lake in hope that he can spread his rods out and get, get himself a lump. I'm happy. I've had a PB mirror. I've also had a PB common and a common from France that I've always wanted. So I'm quite content. I'm happy. I'm drying my gear out. I'm going to pack it all away later so it's all nice and dry. I don't have to get it back out when it's at home tomorrow. Uh, home on Sunday morning, in fact. By the time we get to... We've got our ferry from Cairn at half past four in the afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, Saturday. Then we've... Five hour crossing. Then we've got four and a half, five hour drive back to Cheshire. So if I can get my gear dry today, don't have to get it all back out on Sunday. And you know what it's like. It's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? So I'm happy to let Danny have the lake tonight. I'm happy with what I've had. It's been a great week. Obviously, we all want more fish. Everybody wants more fish. But it is what it is. It's just fishing for you. We have to take what comes along and what doesn't come along. So like I say, I'm happy with my fish. We've had a great week. We've had some good laughs. We've sat out, we've had a beer, we've chilled out. And it's all been part of being like getting away from it all back home, chilling out, being content at the lake, getting away from the hustle and bustle of normal life. But yeah, I've really, really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to pan you around the lake now. So that's the dam wall where we was down there for the next last three nights. We're coming back round. I actually stood on the veranda at the cabin. So there's the spit where Danny is. And that's what takes you up to the top end of the lake up there. As you can see where it ends, shallow end. It's the only place we haven't fished, but there's a lot of weed up there. And we've been up there and had a good look on a couple of occasions, but we haven't seen anything whatsoever. And I will just add, I don't know whether it's the weather conditions, the time of year, whatever. It's been red hot through the day, mid-20s. And of a night, for the last three nights, it's dropped down to three and four degrees. So, you know, it's like that's like, it's like with temperature crashes, the fish switch off. So, it is what it is, isn't it? It's one of them. You have, you have to do what you're doing, simple as that. We can't say we was doing anything wrong. We just don't think the fish was playing. They don't show themselves here. Well, they don't this time of year anyway, because we haven't seen any. We've seen a, or heard a few boshing in the pads to our right and left when we was on the damn wall, but apart from that, we haven't seen anything. Whether they show themselves earlier in the year, don't know, because like I say, it's a new lake. It's only open this year. It was only open, I think it was only open in April this year, so it's not being fished that much. There's not a lot to go on. There's not a lot of info on it apart from three cats reports um, so all I can say is I've enjoyed it keeping my fingers crossed for Danny tonight hopefully he can bag one he just wants a 30 pound fish do not matter what it is whether it's a grassy, a mirror, a common he'll take it so I've given him the lake we're going to work together and we're going to see how we can get on so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to shut off I will edit this when I get back at some point and get it live on the YouTube channel and I will thank you all for watching 
I'd like to tell you, ask you to stay safe, stay positive, and I hope to see you on the bank at another time, another place, another scenario. Take care and good luck with everything.